Okay, we are on day five. Day million! Into Alaska. And we're not to Alaska yet. <laughs> I don't even know what day of the week it is. I have no idea what, what day of the week it is. Like, yeah, today, like... today we had to legitimately stop and be like, whoa, it's Friday. No, no, it's, it's Saturday. Saturday. It really is Saturday? It's freaking Saturday. Today's really Saturday. So we left out, if you've been with us, um, yeah, we left out on Tuesday morning. Uh, Monday night we drove up close to the, or wait, yeah, we, we drove across the border Monday night, late Monday night. Yeah. And uh, starting Tuesday morning, we've been trucking Tuesday, it. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, say Saturday. We probably won't get there till tomorrow or the next day. Definitely. One we'll, reason is no, we'll definitely you get there to tomorrow. drive like 55 miles an hour through most of Canada. Yeah, so a lot of it, like right now we're going 90 kilometers per hour, which is... 55 and 100 miles um, or 100 kilometers per hour is like 62. 62. I mean, that is slow. We drive all across the U.S. and it's normally, you know, In Oklahoma, 65 City, to 75. Like 60, and then you're like, this is kind of slow for a highway. Yeah, so anyway, that's taking much it's taking much longer due yeah. to that, I feel like. like parts of Texas, um, you get to go 80, which is like 130 kilometers per hour. So. But a little perspective. I think when we crossed uh, over at Bellingham, it was 39 hours to Anchorage, and now we have like 12 hours to Anchorage. So we still have a, a little ways, but we're gonna try to truck it today and tomorrow. Yeah. Truck it. Truck it. We haven't seen a moose yet, but we've no seen moose. like 10 black bears. The black bears have been cool. We have service again. That's actually been pretty oh, nice. Yeah, we've had uh, no service. My mom was a little concerned about us because it had been like three days and we hadn't, like, not, we never even got into a patch where we had service at yeah. any point. My it was mom's just not scared. All no service. So. My parents don't ever call me. So. Anyway, all things good in the hood here. So, yeah, next stop, I guess. Next stop, Alaska there. Canada border. Yeah. I hope we can cross over too because we just bought a bunch of fruit. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through all the way, but we'll see. We did it. We freaking did it. We made it to Alaska. I'm so freaking pumped. So I don't know if I've really said this, but dude, I've dreamed of this trip since I was a like small kid. And we're here. Freaking we made it. here. Come here. Woo 49th state. Look at 49th state, man. All we have left is Alaska. All three of us. Or uh, sorry, Hawaii. Not Alaska. Yeah, the 49th state and our 49th state. And our 49th state. Mm. We made it. We made it across the border. We are now in Alaska. How exciting is that, man? How freaking exciting. Um, yeah, so the border crossing, just so you guys know, um, if you haven't experienced it, they asked us um, pretty much just like asked what we were doing. Um, obviously we were coming into Alaska just to enjoy the beauty. They said, they asked if there's anything we wanted to declare, any fruits, veggies, drugs, alcohol, anything like that. Um, said we didn't. Um, they asked again on, they're like, yeah, no fruits or veggies or anything. And I think we had an apple that Ashley declared, um, or, and actually she ended up saying, well, it was a product of the U.S., so... No big deal, we could keep it. Um, but yeah, asked to see our passports and for Everly's birth certificate. They didn't, she didn't ask anything about Beirut, which was interesting. And yeah, that's pretty much all that she asked. And it was a quick, very quick, like maybe three minutes and we were out of there. So that was nice. Um, I'd kind of heard that there were, you know, people have gotten 
in a little bit of a situation coming, you know, going across Canada and letting them in and then getting to Alaska and being like, oh, well, you know, I had to have like shot records provided for your dog or like something like that, you know. So luckily we didn't run into anything like that. It was pretty simple. There really wasn't much to get worked up about. Um, and yeah, I guess we're about, you know, 40 or 50 miles past the border at this point and Man, just enjoying wild Alaska. <sighs> Loving it. Every second of it, man. This midnight sun, though. Midnight sun is wild. It's so bright out, and it's 11-something right now, almost midnight. So we're just here at um, the rest area for the night. That's one thing that's great about this trip through BC um, and the Yukon into Alaska is like, dude, there is no shortage of camping spots. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Pretty much just kind of like see something and take your pick. I mean, there, you know, there's private property that is very clearly identified as, you know, no trespassing. But other than that, I mean, there are just a ton of pull-offs um, like this one right now. Pretty hard to beat this. Minus the mosquitoes that are huge, freaking huge. What do you think, Everly? It's kind of a cool name. Do you like the name Aspen? Uh, yeah. Is it? Not yet. You know, the best way to make marshmallows is you cook it and then you lick it off. And then you cook it again until it's crusty. Make sure it's not on fire before you lick it off again. Because I can't have chocolate right now. <laughs> We're here in Homer, Alaska. We camped last night on the Spit. There is a place it's called Homer Spit Campground, I think, if you look it up. But it's 35 bucks a night for no hookups or 45 bucks a night with hookups. Um, we obviously did no hookups since we have solar power. But um, yeah, it's actually a really nice day. I thought it was supposed to be raining, but we are going to go explore because there's so many cute little shops. It's very quaint, so I'm excited. So we will see you guys out there. Bye. So we have done a little bit of exploring. I got myself a little Alaska souvenir. Nice. Yeah. Show, show them what you got, baby. We got a Alaska book. Alaska Alaska You're funny. You're funny. I like it. So we grabbed some espresso and a smoked salmon bagel, which was delicious. And we're going to continue on our little um, exploration of Homer on the spit. sound. Good morning, humpback whale. Are we ready to share a wonderful day? I'm enjoying some salmon fish and chips here at Boardwalk Fish and Chips. It's really good. Can I try some? It was yummy. Okay. That was really yummy. Boardwalk, fish and chips. Yep, I approve. <laughs> the, um, the tartar sauce was... Yeah, the tartar sauce was amazing. Homer was supposed to be raining all day and it wasn't, so we're really excited about that. We got a bunch of Alaskan souvenirs finally because 
we haven't really done any souvenir shopping while we've been on this trip. We actually don't do much souvenir shopping anyway because we don't have very much room for souvenirs. But it's an interesting delegation. Um, we got I got a sweatshirt because I have like two, and I got an an ornament for a Christmas tree because someday we'll have a Christmas tree and we'll be able to put ornaments on it and I'll and I will really love to look back at the places we went. Um, Where is it? The ornaments right here. Oh, here it is. Mm, it was five bucks, so you know, not that big a deal. We had some souvenirs that were food, food souvenirs, and they're in my belly and they're delicious. Um, but <laughs> so like the fish and chips. Yeah. Uh, so now we're heading out of Homer, which was awesome. I would highly recommend coming here to anybody. It's probably my favorite spot that we've been to in Alaska so far. More than Seward, more than Anchorage. Um, that's about it. More than the roadside uh, pull-offs that we visited um, for a few hours at a time. Yeah, this place is, is pretty cool. So make sure to come by Homer, Alaska if you're ever here. Good morning. We drove last night from Homer up, up, up to Anchorage and just a little bit north of Anchorage. Well, actually like a couple hours north of Anchorage and uh, just crashed on the side of the road for the night trying to make it to Denali today. And we just got to the first Denali viewpoint, um, it's just like a Denali state park, I think. Um, so we're gonna go see if it's clear enough to actually see it today, which that would be rad if that was the case. So let's check it out. Mm, not looking promising. Not looking promising at all, really. Bummer sandwich, dude. Well. It's all good. You can't see it. You can't really see it. Ah, I, I knew mean, it. You can see the base of it. You can check it out. I did learn something new though, that the taller the mountains, the, um, or the more mountain peaks, the more that that area makes its own like weather system, um, which is pretty cool. Pretty cloudy today. Hey kid. Hi dad. A slight fail on seeing Denali from the south, but we're gonna keep going and maybe it'll clear up a little bit. Subway. We are in Fairbanks, Alaska. <laughs> uh, we went to Denali National Park today. It was really awesome, but it was raining. We're excited to be here in Fairbanks. We're at a brewery. We're gonna go check it out. Um, Everly's being very silly today. She is just the silliest little thing. She can't see. Where are you? You can see? Look at Dad. Where's Dad then? I can see Dad. Oh yeah? <laughs> so anyway, we're uh, in Fairbanks. It's our last city in Alaska. <laughs> our last big city in Alaska before we head out and go back down through Canada. <laughs> so today we're we're leaving Fairbanks. We're gonna swing by the North Pole. We're hoping everybody's gonna like that. Um, and then honestly, we're gonna start making our way back. Um, we have to be back for for some work stuff. And since we've been here, we've realized that we're gonna need to actually drive all the way back to Oklahoma instead of back to Minnesota um, so yeah we even have that much longer of a drive and we're gonna hit like Jasper and Banff and uh, some of those Canadian Rockies uh, parks on the way so I guess this is like our official last day in, Sala in Alaska it makes me sad dude I can tell I'm already gonna be coming back at some point yeah, we'll see. Anyway, here we go. Leaving Fairbanks. So we are going through the North Pole and I'm not gonna lie, it's like it's like they kind of like halfway thought that it was Christmas all year round. Because it's like some of the stuff is 
fun and themed. Like there are like these candy cane uh, light poles. That's kind of fun. And like this gas pump, like candy cane gas pump, you know, beams and stuff like that. Um, but it's just a where's the light? It's just a regular little town. Like a super regular little town. Like really, really small too. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, there's a Starbucks. So no, but um, yeah, it's kind of a funny one. It's just we want to try to find like I'm sure there's like a gift shop or some sort of little like fun themed, you know, Christmas themed shop. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna go find out. We're gonna go see. Okay. So, it didn't take long, but we found Santa Claus's house. And reindeer. And reindeer. So, we're gonna go explore a little bit. Say what, kiddo? The what the animal one? Yeah, dude, check out the Santa Claus up ahead. Check it, check it, check it. Dude, he has a list of things. He's taking down names. Well, do you wanna go to Santa Claus's house first and then we'll go over and see the reindeer? What do you say? Okay, cool, let's do that. Made it to the North Pole. Everybody, what do you think about the North Pole? I love it, I love it. <laughs> we haven't been in there yet, but yeah, we're all bound to love it. Christmas is my favorite holiday. So I could do this whole Christmas year round thing. Easy, easy peasy, except they're missing the music. So, you know, that's not cool. Where are you all from? Where are you from? We're from Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. I need your help. Will you help me? There's a lot of fake elves in Colorado. They're just popping up all over. I've They're heard that. Real. So, yeah, it's, it's been on the news. So what I need you to do is to be able to tell the real elves from the fake elves, okay? And here's how we do it. We have the secret elf handshake, okay? And here's how it goes. First of all, we gather the tools. Give me five. Then we, then we go the toys, and then we deliver the toys. Okay. Tools. Tools. Build. Build. Deliver. That's right. And if you ever meet an elf, that's how they know. I know. You know. We know them. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen. Vixen. Comet and Cupid and Donner and Letson. But do you recall? Everly, what's the most famous reindeer? Here's a real test. The front one, I think. The front one? Good guess. You know what its name is? Cupid? I just realized she didn't know about Rudolph, really. So, parent fail. Um, we're gonna start playing things up a little more. Well, we haven't I guess. done Santa with her. Yeah, we never really said that Santa was real. But um, we never said he wasn't. We just yeah, we never, never said he wasn't. Did it? Never really approached it. And no, I, I, unfortunately, baby, I don't have a key to get in there. Santa has. I the wish key. I did. Yeah, of course, Santa has the key. But now, now she might think he's real. Um, so. As she listens to us talk about it. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So, closing out, uh, you know, Santa Claus's house and Reindeer Bay over here. Um, and I guess we're gonna start heading out. Like out, like by Alaska. Aww. like. It's like a see you day, next though. time. I can, it is a beautiful like day. At least we're at least we're leaving on a good one. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so peace out, Alaska.